In this video, I'm going to show you how you can total um, many values from many sheets in Excel. So in my pretend business here, I sell um, roofing materials. And so we have um, soffits, roof shingles, roof sheathing, drip flashing. Um, and so I have 11 stores and I've named them really unusual names. Like the first one is one. Now for each of my stores, if they're store one, their, their, their inventory is one or they've sold one of everything and the same thing for two and five. And so that's the, just the way it is. But what I'm going to do is I would like to, you know, I'm a big distributor here and I would like to figure out how much, how much sales I made last year. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this total button. And there you go. They have, um, 66 and everything and now the totals I, I i'm not doing with bba i'm just doing automatic sums here so if you look at the formula here it's just sum of b4 to b15 and the same thing with um right here it's an automatic sum just uh, just manually and doing it that way so now let's let's just prove to you that it works um so let's go on to um, sheet three and let's change roof shingles from three to 300 so that our total should be quite a bit different from 66 on the first page, right? So now I've put in the 300, I'm going to my total sheet and then let's run this total again. So there you go. Now it, it has included the total of 363. So let me show you the code. So here's my code. Now you can see that my sheet one is, is total sheet and that's kind of handy. And so total, uh, subtotal total sheet. So now R for rows, C for column, and X is the value that we're trying to total on our main sheet. So I've selected the range of cells and I'm clearing contents because I'm, I don't want to have anything in there to when I'm totaling. And then row is the row that we start with is four and two is the column. Now I have a do while loop here. So I'm saying when, when C, which is the column is less than six. Um, and then for the row, it goes from four to 15 sheets, one select RC and then X equals zero. And then I'm calling total cells. Well, total cells is this other little macro here, down here. And it's I as long, and I is the number of sheets. So the for the number for I equals one to active, active workbook count sheet. So it doesn't matter if you add another sheet at the end or in the middle, whatever, it's just gonna go through and count each sheet. And so then what it says is this X that we're calculating equals X, X plus sheet or whatever the sheet number is, cells RC value two. And then it keeps going for all of them. And then the sheet one cells RC value equals whatever you calculated in X. So I will of course include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.